Here's one away from Fred Harper, 50 bucks. I think masculinity and femininity are package deal concepts. And most people aren't on the same page about what that package deal is. It's hard to define an essential to either. Different sexes can hold traits from either package deal. So I don't think they're package deals. I, I don't think that uh, femininity has in it uh, both, uh, um, you know, a package deal is when you put in uh, things that belong and things that negate, things that are, that, uh, 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 things that are like, like uh, you know, uh, self-interest is a package deal in, in the way it's dealt in the world today because it has in that folder both people pursuing rational self-interest, people uh, being productive, being, and, and people who are lying, cheating, stealing SOBs, and they put them together as if it's the same thing, but it's not. One is being self-interested, one is being self-destructive, and actually the opposite of it. So package deal is putting different things into the same package and calling them the same and pretending they're the same and treating them as the same. Uh, that's, by the way, the, the, the idea that um, cis women and trans women are both women makes women a package deal of something that is a woman, a cis woman, and something that isn't a woman, a trans woman. Uh, so that, that would be the package deal. But masculinity and femininity don't, certainly don't have to be package deals, and I don't think they are for the most part. Uh, masculinity is, is particular traits that are associated with maleness, being a male, uh, uh, you know, and, and uh, it, it doesn't mean that every male is only masculine. These are particular traits that you could have at particular in particular quantities, and you know, it's, a, it's about strength and physicality and masculinity and so on. And femininity is soft and, and, um, and uh, more sensual and, but men can be, have elements, so a man can have uh, elements of masculinity and femininity. A woman can have elements of masculinity and femininity. Um, so, you don't identify, you don't define a man or woman based on their masculinity and femininity. Right? These are element. Th these are the attributes. But right. So so uh, <laughs> this is where it's uh, it's beyond my field. So the exact relationship between masculinity and femininity and male. And a male and a female, a male and a female, man and woman, the exact relationship. How much of that is psychological? I think a lot of it's psychological. How much of the masculine? How much of the feminine? Is there some element of biology there? Do some men have more testosterone than other men? More um, estrogen than other women? How, to what extent does that shape? Um, our choices of, of, uh, of um, def these, uh, what do you call it, psychological characteristics. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. Anybody knows, but I don't know. But I don't think they're, they're, they're in any sense, package deals. I just, I think they're real phenomena that need to be studied, that need to be studied and figured out, and we need clearer definitions of them. And, uh, you know, Rand, I, I don't think it's, I don't think this is a job for philosophers. That's why I don't think it's a job for the Ayn Rand Institute. It's a job for psychologists. It's a job for psychology. This is primarily an issue for psychology. I mean, the, the issue of the trans activism, the, these intellectuals, that's philosophy. Because the, the, we're dealing with definitions. We're dealing with epistemology. We're dealing with reality. We're dealing with truth. But the issue of what is femininity, what is masculinity, how do they relate, that is all issues of psychology. They're not issues of philosophy, and therefore they're not issues for, that the Ayn Rand Institute needs to deal with. And there could be legitimate disagreement about these things, and they are, uh, while accepting a particular philosophy. It doesn't mean all those differences of opinions are right. It just means the differences of opinion. And some are right and some are wrong. Or one is right and many are wrong, more typically. Go figure out which is which. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. 
show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.